I'm sitting with Libra De Paz, the 2012 recipient of the Robert F. Kennedy Human Rights Award, and who is now very involved in the rural and migrant ministry. So when I think of your name, first of all, I think of freedom. Is that accurate? <laughs> it is, actually. It's very, very interesting. I mean, Librada means liberty, and then last name it means peace, which is like kind of connected together. I'm 18 years old, and when you were 18, you were doing really hard labor every day, 14 hours a day. How did you push through that? It's more like a, of a dream that I, I, you know, I had since when I was a little girl, you know, like I really want to go to school. I really want to be somebody. I really want to become somebody. I don't want to just like sit down and not be anybody. So I think that's the dream that I kept on coming all the way to wherever I go. So when I was working in the farm, in the fields, I didn't feel like I was going to stuck there forever. And I start to find a way how to get back to school, and that's what I did. And did that begin with the immigration status? I was very lucky because the time that I came in, uh, I was already a resident because um, it was the time the amnesty was open. So I came in right at the time, and I was very, very lucky. And how about your brothers and sisters? Were they lucky too? Yeah, they were. Actually, all four of us, or five, five the world at the time, we all got a paper and resident. And now we are citizens, so yeah. I'm very proud of that. What kinds of obstacles did you face in that immigration process, though? It wasn't bad for us, but for a lot of people, it's really hard to yeah. get it, you know? Like, I mean, a lot of people, if they came in just right after, or they were at the time, uh, they didn't think it was important or it was necessary, and, and they just pass it away. And then since at the time, they haven't had a paper yet. But um, for us, I think uh, actually uh, immigration uh, detained us. And, and when they detained us, I mean, we have a proof that we, we've been here and we've been working here. So they actually automatically gave us a permission. And, and that's how I start to slowly get my resident and my citizenship. How did you get started with RMM? I have worked with so many organizations that are actually are working with uh, migrant workers, like for example, Migrant Health Clinic, which is actually gives service uh, to migrant workers about health education or health issues and things like that. And then also from there, I actually jump in into migrant education. Uh, and basically, it's what's very interesting is that because they've been calling me uh, and work with them, so that's how I end up working with Rural Migrant Ministry. And now you're pretty high up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I know. So you're a busy like woman. Jumping, jumping, jumping. I, I was very lucky, you know. I didn't have to like really look for a job, you know. Right. Yeah. So there's just people offer me here and there, maybe because I mean I was in school, and then also because I speak three languages. I mean my original language is Mixtec, and then my second is Spanish. And the third one, it's English. So, you know, basically I learned a lot and struggle and be a farm worker myself, had the experience of all those things. So it's actually, that's how they saw me. And they saw me that I have a lot of connection with workers already. So right. uh, rural migrant ministry, I think that is just a perfect person to be with them. Why do you think that farm workers, as opposed to other working groups, are more disenfranchised, even with the passing of the New Deal? Yeah, I think it's been very, very hard. I mean, since that we're talking about Martin Luther King Day, uh, and, I mean, imagine at the time that people were slaves, and, and they actually saying that, I mean, because a lot of farm workers were slaves. And at the, at the time that, I mean, you know, uh, we keep on fighting, and since that time, they excluded farm workers uh, to have the equal right with other industry. And since that time, it hasn't changed, and I think it's just ridiculous that it hasn't changed because, I mean, they put a lot of obstacles and saying that all oh, workers don't need this, or workers are okay, mm -hmm. and basically, I mean, it doesn't matter if they're okay or not, they have to have the rights as everybody else. And you're coming here to speak to a bunch of college students, right? How, what can they do? Yes, I think that's another target that we're trying to do, like get a, get a lot of uh, college Youth students, yes, mm -hmm. I mean, to actually uh, support us, uh, promote uh, what we're doing, uh, as, to get involved in as many ways as they can, to actually uh, make more awareness and, and really make this happen because, I mean, w it's way too long that it, this one hasn't happened. So I hope that I can get more students to be involved in and then get this law passed. There seems to be the perception that human rights issues is a thing of the past or something far away, not in you know upstate New York. So how do you bring that issue of locality to reality? I think it's a fate and also believe in yourself. 
I always thought of like working so hard with the migrant workers sometimes. It makes a lot of struggle because you have to drive in everywhere and drive in night, uh, driving early mornings. And it's just like a lot of places that you have to go through and all the things. And sometimes I felt like, you know, my job is to worry because I know that people uh, need help. I know that maybe some other people can't see it, but I can see it. And some other workers maybe can't see it, but I can see it. I know that they need the, uh, the struggle to become, you know, a reality in a better way. Like, have a equal equality and all those things so I think after being um, in, around the workers for 20 years I mean since I started high school and all the, up to now it's like it, it was really worthy at the same time I, I was really surprised to be nominated and then be the winner so like wow I mean yes I you know you never expected right. to be one one of only three yeah, in the US like, it was just amazing yeah. you know but I am um, you know I, I am so happy to be recognized on my work Thank you okay. so much for your time. I Thank know you. you're really busy and you have to rush <laughs> off to the celebration now.